Getting started with Agile development in the ServiceNow Strategic Portfolio Management application. Agile development helps you manage product-based or project-based efforts using the Scrum framework. You can also create your own hybrid approach. For this video, we'll use a product-based example. Let's say you're a product owner and want to build three new features for an upcoming release. For each feature, we'll create an epic. The epics are assigned to an Agile team. Then, within an epic, stories are created. Stories are smaller units of work that are related to an epic and are usually assigned to an individual from the team. These stories form part of a product or release backlog. Tasks are the smallest unit of work that must be executed to complete a story. Some examples of Scrum tasks include analysis, testing, and coding. Let's see what this looks like in the application. To use Agile development, you'll need to activate the Agile Development 2.0 plugin from the Application Manager. We need to create epics for an upcoming release. In the Agile Development application, we're logged in with the Scrum Admin role. Then, inside each epic, We'll create stories and tasks. Next, from the Agile board landing page, let's create a backlog. We'll give the backlog a name and add the required conditions. Now we're ready to create a sprint. A sprint is a defined period in which the stories are to be executed. Typically, a sprint is two weeks long. In our case, we'll create three sprints to take place over the next six weeks. We'll assign stories to the sprints. Then we can estimate the level of effort it will take to complete each story through story points. Let's take a minute to add points to each of our stories. The group capacity indicator reflects these story points. If we assign too much work for the group, the indicator turns red, and we can simply reschedule one of the stories to a later sprint. When the sprint begins, the product owner and the Agile team can track the progress of the scheduled stories. Ideally, at the end of a sprint, all stories should be complete. In our case, only one story was completed. So, when we mark the sprint as complete, we are prompted to move the incomplete stories to either the backlog or an upcoming sprint. And when the next sprint begins, the process will start all over again. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.